AKs. Put these in your bag. Take everything. No, I wouldn't even leave a damn dime of ammo. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good take team, right? the, I would take the clips out of those fucking guns. Yeah, we do. Drop it. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? Trying to help. I know you're pissed at me, but I want to do the right thing. For your brother. For him. For the rest of my family. For everyone. Yeah. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. I was just trying to keep Kate safe. That was the only thing I was thinking about. Fair enough. I get that. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. David would want you to. He needs fighters. We're his only hope. You're right. He doesn't have anyone else left in his corner. Your heart's in the right place, I'll give you that. Okay. You know I'm in. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Awesome. Okay. Be a fighter. I don't know if I can trust her, but we get the fighter. I feel like she's gonna trade uh, tr a trade on us. Come here. Are you okay? Oh my god. Not dead yet. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah. sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility's right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. I don't know if I'd trust him. Trust her and all. I really don't know. Be hesitant. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I 
guess. I think so. I'm mostly here to talk with Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. <sighs> Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't huh. understand. It's totally normal. I, I mean, it's something female women have. It's, uh, what's next? It's not fun, I know that, but Kate manages. You, you'll be fine, too. Manages? How? I'm bleeding. It's supposed to happen. You'll be fine, Clem. I, I promise. Okay. Yeah, I, I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Well, there's a... Well, that's not a needle, but... Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, um... I think I remember how to do this. <laughs> it's, uh, this is gonna hurt like hell. Okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be. <sighs> this stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have housed ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. I don't know. It could get a bit lonely. Oh, Carver. Ugh. This is the kind of shit Kenny was capable of. Carver deserved what was coming to him, of course, but that's just brutal. I don't know how you could even watch that. It must have been brutal. And the sounds he must have made. Ugh. He did so many bad things to so many people. I wanted to see him suffer for it. Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, take a load off. I've got the little goofball. I'll never get used to this. I just don't have that motherly instinct you've got. Remember what I taught you. Sweep and stab.
close. Still did it. Come on, we can get out this way. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled. Like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. They just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You're family. We're all family. Rebecca mm. would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Spitting on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. It wasn't easy for any of us. I'm going to get AJ back. You can't keep me away forever. That's just not going to happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but here. Hmm. Cake bag or keep the egg. I don't know what, the fuck. what options they're going to give me. Oh. Your party. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. This. Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering. We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong. People can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. 
They're out there. You people stole mine. You know that. You'll just have to find something new that... Shut the hell up! From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. Oh my god, no, can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. No thanks to you or David. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then? You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Okay. Okay, um... Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Okay. Huh. 
Give me, give me the option to say, I'll, I'll do it if you tell us. Javi, I have to know. I'm sorry, Clem, we can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! I, I didn't think How that... could you? I thought we... Had... We could refuse. Oh, I'm gonna pause for a second. Why? Wait. The game developers to allow us to refuse, and then take the deal later. Huh? Right after, I like, yeah. say, "I'll do. I'll fine. I'll do it if you fucking tell us." This. Boom. But no. So be it. It's your funeral, especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Have to man another game, those two are gonna hook up. <laughs> Javi, you're back! And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. <laughs> Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's <laughs> got to be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. Everyone's got their vices. Doesn't make him a bad person. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't joke about that sort of stuff. For all I know, this is something he's been dealing with for a long time. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure, but this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. No. Right. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan 
is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. <sighs> I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking oh. kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Fucking that kid had to open his damn mouth about how. That was it. Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Hmm. 
I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Keeping watch is an important job, too. Not as important as getting that truck. Hey, Gabe, come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. <laughs> yeah. You got a huge crush, so we can't climb the toes and everything. <laughs> what? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. once they've cleared this area. God damn it. I have to talk to her and she probably moves. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. We all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Well, I know where the truck is. It's over here. Seconds. There it is. Let's go. This is what are the chances? I'd say about fifty fifty. Smart ass. Ship is killing me. Oh, let me get some of that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Alright, I'm gonna pause it for a second. 